Hello everybody, welcome back to Kantan Food by Satoshi. Season is changing into autumn. Food becomes delicious. Today, I'm gonna be making mushroom rice. Yes, mushroom rice. Mushroom has an autumn flavor. So, let's get started. So, before starting, here is an information for you guys. This video is sponsored by Box. Box is a subscription service which lets you try a variety of unique snacks sourced from all over Japan. Every month, Box has a special theme like summer festival, hanami flower viewings, and more. This month's theme is Kansai Autumn. Kansai is a region around Osaka and Kyoto. Every snack in this box is related to Kansai region. You will know the culture of Kansai throughout these snacks. First time customers receive the Season of Japan box. You can feel and imagine what you will receive throughout the year. Repeat customer will get themed box every month. Recent themes included Tropical Travel, Summer Festival, and Tsukimi Moon Festival. So what is next? In the box, they include a culture guide which shows what snacks are included and many interesting information about Japanese culture. Daimonji Ame Honpo has 100 year history. Oh, I did not know that. Hmm. This culture guide is quite useful. I am Japanese, but sometimes I find some snacks which I haven't seen before. There are so many snack makers all over Japan, and not all of snacks are sold in our neighborhood. But Box is working with a variety of local vendors, so they select unique snacks. This is a point which I like about Box. Mm. Very matcha y it has a nice matcha flavor. This month, this warangu is my favorite. I did not know about this snack. This is a very good opportunity to eat variety of snacks which I haven't tried. Don't miss the chance to get 10% off your own Japanese subscription box from Box. Use my code for this amazing snack journey through Japan. You can get up to 47 US dollars discount and they are shipping worldwide. If you have rice cooker, it is easy, easy to cook. But if you don't have, don't worry. Today, I won't use rice cooker. I'm gonna be using regular pot. Making takikomi gohan, mix rice, soak rice before cooking. So, first, I put two Japanese rice cup. We call it nigo to go. Nigo. Two Japanese rice cups of uncooked rice in the pot and pour 300 milliliter of water. This amount is important. Oh, I already washed this rice. Make sure wash well before I soak in the water. So this water amount, 300 milliliter, is important. So this water amount is a little bit less than usual because I will add another condiment into this pot. So I calculated that amount. Oh, soaking time, about 30 minutes. Oh, if you don't have Japanese rice scale, the one cup, uh, don't worry. Just measure uh, 300 grams of rice, uncooked rice. One Japanese rice cup is 150 grams. So during soaking rice, let's prepare mushrooms. Today I'm gonna be using three, mush three kinds of mushrooms. First one is maitake mushrooms, and shiitake mushrooms, and shimeji. I love shimeji. I don't use all. <laughs> maitake mushroom, mm, I'm gonna be using half of this pack, like this, and tear. Here, yeah, like this. I love maitake mushrooms. So, hmm. I think this is okay. Set aside. Shiitake mushrooms. I'm gonna be using two shiitake mushrooms. Remove the stem, but I don't waste this stem. Just cut off the, the edge part and Slice this part. Okay. And 
cut slice like this cut the stem remove the edge part slice it okay set aside so shimeji I'm gonna be using half of this shimeji remove the, the bottom part root part and release each mushrooms maybe quarter is enough okay I use quarter of this package so set aside and for better flavor I'm gonna be using tofu pouch abra age so remove the excess oil with your paper towel of course you can put in the boiling water but this way is easier and re we can remove the excess oil cut into half and slice okay then set aside and as an additional you can put chopped carrot it has nice color red color and for another flavor you can add chicken chicken thigh chicken thigh has a very good umami but today i want to make it simple i soaked rice 30 minutes so let's cook in this pot put one teaspoon of instant dashi powder two tablespoon of soy sauce and two tablespoon of mirin and mix gently become the, the color evenly and here put mushrooms and tofu pouch chopped tofu pouch, tofu pouch on the surface of the, the rice mm, I love I love mushrooms so uh, the mushroom quantity is really up to you but don't make it too much <laughs> don't make it too much okay wow looks nice it's a kinoko pot and here as an accent i put umeboshi ume plum it has a, a sourness and it adds the saltiness too I already added soy sauce, so um, if you don't like the salty one, please omit it or use less salty ume plum. Then cover and turn on the heat. Cook medium heat for about 5 minutes and after that cook on low about 10 minutes and leave 5 minutes as it is I cooked 5 minutes on medium heat so turn to low and cook 10 minutes 10 more minutes so during cooking rice I'm gonna be making miso soup this miso soup is also using mushrooms this one is a nameko mushroom the slimy one do you know the slimy mushroom? it's tiny mushrooms in the pot Oh, uh, two tables, no, 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 two cups of water and put nameko mushrooms here. Cook low heat, cook on low, cook slowly until it becomes boiling. Okay, 10 minutes passed, so turn over the heat and, and let it sit about five minutes. Okay, it become boiling. Turn over the heat once and put two tablespoons of miso. I'm using miso strainer. If you like miso soup, this tool, this small colander strainer is really useful. Yeah, it's very easy to dissolve this miso. Miso is not easy to dissolve, but this tool is very helpful. I'm doing with one hand but yes I can if you don't have miso strainer please use your ladle 
completely dissolved. And here, I want to add tofu. I already cut. Okay, then turn on the heat once again and cook just before boiling. Do not boil. Miso flavor become worse. Okay, it is just before boiling. Turn on the heat now. Okay, it's ready. Let's open my my mushroom rice is ready. Looks nice. Okay, before eating, I have to mix. So, please remove the seed of plum, umeboshi. Take it out and mix together. Oh, nice, perfect. And what I like of cooking rice in the pot is the okoge, the bottom part. A little bit, it's good, it's burnt, but not over burnt, it's grilled. It's just right uh, flavor, it's just flavor. It is called okoge, but do not over burn. Take some, put in the rice bowl, chawan, like this, and I sprinkle some green onion for color. It is beautiful, yeah? So, itadakimasu. This is my mushroom rice. Mmm. Mmm. Just right. Just right mushroom rice. Mmm. The dashi flavor is really good. Mmm. The solidness is level is perfect. And texture is nice. Mmm. Mmm, and the umeboshi works pretty nice. The sourness of this umeboshi matches with this rice flavor. I put mirin, so it has a little bit sweetness. Mirin has sweetness, so it has, the rice has a little bit sweetness. And the sweetness and this plum sourness contrast is really good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's not overly sour, don't worry. It's just right. So, miso soup. Nameko mushrooms. Or, I don't know if you can get nameko mushrooms in your country, but I love nameko mushrooms. Mmm. 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 In fact, I didn't add any dashi powder inside, but mushroom from this mushroom, the umami came out. So, of course, you can add some dashi, flavor, dashi powder inside, but you don't need it. The nameko has a good umami. And when you cook mushrooms, please boil slowly. The umami, mushroom umami came out well. So, I cooked this miso soup slowly. So hope you guys enjoy today's my mushroom rice, kinoko gohan. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Let us know what you thought in the comment below. And please check the box if you like. The link is in the description box below. Thank you for watching. See you on next delicious video. Bye bye.